Good morning, good morning here at the very growing edge of our own becoming. Free my heart, open my heart with the whispers of truth to live a conscious life, to live a conscious life on the growing edge. Thank you for that beautiful opening, Leslie Monroe, and welcome to Growing Edge Live broadcast. We broadcast live every Sunday and every Thursday, and we are a place to come and get a spiritual tune in and a tune up. We offer spiritual principles and practices that if implemented and activated and integrated into your life will help you help us help everyone live a more more grounded settled peaceful experience grounded in our, our true self our higher self so hello everyone welcome welcome i know that that there is a lot of change going on a lot of us are feeling a lot of fear and frustration uncertainty and what this message is here for today is to help us remember who we really are and help us come back to that which we know. Maybe not in our, our surface mind, in our ego mind as we're inundated with the news and the shutdowns and people's lives being radically altered. All of that is going on and all of that is very real and all of that impacts us and how we feel inside and how we interact with our family and our friends and so it's a both and here whilst we're feeling that whilst we're feeling uncertainty there's also a dimension to us that is more certain more certain of its true identity our identity of spiritual beings having a human experience. So today I'm sharing with you a lot of love and a lot of um, well wishes for you wherever you are. If you've decided to stay indoors today, stay home and not go out, I honor that decision. You know, this time is really about, about there's no more I, my, and them. It's more about we, ours and us. There's only one thing going on. And as we embrace this spiritual principle of oneness, we can really see that we as a one species have to be extra mindful at this time because what one does affects the other. We can see this. We're experiencing this. We're all in this together. The hand washing, the social distancing, and the community thinking. We're all in this together. So fear is real, but today I hope to share some ideas with you that can help you understand, experience, process your fear, and move to a greater sense of content, a greater sense of, of spiritual joy. Not joy in what's happening, but a deep inner sense of being and presence and that witnessing presence, that stable place of calm, because we're always a point of creation. We are the authors of our experience and our story. So if we're experiencing fear and we stay there, then we are going to perpetuate that fear, not only in our own minds and in our bodies, but in the, in the minds of those around us, in the energetic field around us, which affects everything. So our best spiritual practice is to stay in a, a state of deep contentment, non-resistance. So I'm going to be talking today about the three A's to bring us into a greater place of acceptance, allowing, and appreciation, a deep sense of joy, of personal presence, of sovereignty, of, of standing in our authentic power. 
So I have a, a poem that I found online from one of from one of my minister friends. And this talks to the pandemic. She says, and this is, her name is um, Lynn Ungar. What if you thought, uh, what if you thought of this pandemic <clears throat> as the Jews consider the Sabbath, the most sacred of times, cease from travel, cease from buying and selling, give up just for now on trying to make the world different than it is. Sing, pray, touch only those whom you commit your life. Center down, and when your body has become still, reach out with your heart. Know that we are connected in ways that are terrifying and beautiful. You could hardly deny it now. Know that our lives are in each other's hands. Surely that has come clear. Do not reach out with your hands. Reach out with your heart. Reach out with your words. Reach out all the tendrils of compassion that move invisibly where we cannot touch. Promise this world your love, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, so long as we all shall live. We most definitely are living in the most sacred of times. So breathe that in and relax and settle and feel inside your body <clears throat> a sense of being in the right place at the right time. There is absolutely no other place to be than right here and right now. And was as we mentally and emotionally and spiritually energetically bring ourselves into this moment, settle into the most holy of holies, the spiritual dimension of what you, what we truly are. One, one mind, one body, one heart, one infinite organizing intelligence, one energy that is all we see, taste, touch, feel, and experience. And as we settle into this oneness, as we occupy our true identity, there is a sense of peace. Breathe in peace. Exhale peace and open the eyes. So as we settle in, as we relax, as we begin to surrender into our true identity, everything that's going on in the world, just for a moment, gets to be just as it is. Nothing needs fixing, nothing needs altering. And if we truly believe that we are causative beings, that we energetically affect and influence the whole, then it is us, up to us, it is our responsibility to come into a better feeling place. Because when we're in a place of relaxed accepting, acceptance, allowance, and appreciation, then we are affecting the field around us. And then everything calms down just a little bit, centers down. I love that, that idea of centering down. So when we're feeling, when we're, when we're not in alignment, when we're not accepting, allowing, and appreciating the world, we're then, by default, we then occupy the space of rejection, intolerance, resistance, disregard, disapproval. And when we're in that place, and it usually isn't happening so much on a conscious level, it's more on a subconscious level, that when we're not allowing, when we're not accepting, when we're not in that field or realm of appreciation, we then are just defaulting to the subconscious which in most humans is this sense of fear, a sense of, of me and you, us and them. And that breeds this, this energy of rejection, intolerance, resistance, disregard, and disapproval, which keeps us disconnected. So, when, so when we're feeling these things, and what we can feel, we can heal. 
So when we notice in ourselves as we watch the news or we go to the grocery store and we start to feel an energy of disapproval or pointing fingers at other people and how dare they and 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 with all the hoarding of the the pro the 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 food and the and the the paper goods we we might notice that we we start to to come into a place of of judgment that does no good we we simply need to mind our own business center down and feel a place of absolute acceptance of what's happening it doesn't mean we have to agree with with what's going on but acceptance an acceptance a being at peace with what's happening knowing that people are doing the very best that they can and in that we neutralize our negative influence on the field and we bring ourselves back to a place of deep and abiding peace that the master te teacher talked about the peace that passes all understanding that is our deep spiritual joy, the peace that passes all understanding. So we accept what's happening. We allow things to be the way they are. We don't push and pull. We just enter into a place of allowing. And when we're allowing, we're allowing the world and everything that's occurring just to move through us. We're not grasping or attaching ourselves, wanting things to be a particular way, we're easy, we're natural, we're relaxed, we're seeing the coming and goings of life, and that brings us into a place of appreciation. Appreciation for being alive. Appreciation for unlocking these hidden dimensions of who and what we truly are. There are deep, deep spiritual teachings in, these, in this these three words, again, acceptance, allowing, and appreciation. So I have some questions for, for us to ponder today as we go into a deeper inquiry into ourselves. And, and, and these questions are designed to help us to come to center, to center down, and to come from that place so that we can be a cooperative component in this thing called life, that we can bring our most highest energy, our most highest thought into the world so that we can be a place, a point in the grand matrix of life, the energetic field. We can be a point of wholeness and healing and calmness because that is what the world needs now. So here's the questions. How will you reach out with your heart? How will you reach out in your world with your heart? Maybe you're deciding to stay home more. So what can you do? May you use social media? May you use phone call, reaching out to someone? May you send out an email? May you play some music? May you pray? What are you going to do? Maybe it's meditation where you reach out with your heart. Energetically, when, we're, when our hearts are open, we are then communicating with the field, with the universe, because the universe, God, doesn't speak English. It speaks the language of the heart. So as we reach out, as we open our heart, as we become wholehearted, we then speak the energetic of the universe, and then we have a deeper influence in what's happening in the world. Because what's happening here, affects everything. We are one. So first question, how will you reach out with your heart? How will you reach out with your words? Think about the words you're using, the thoughts you're thinking. Are they, are they of high spiritual energy? How will you reach out with your thoughts, with your words? And how will us compassionately reaching out make a difference? How will us compassionately reaching out into the world make a difference? And as you ponder this, you'll be sourcing ideas and thoughts and things will start to download. Ideas will start to happen. happen. You'll start to connect the linear mind with, with your heart, your ego and your essence, and you'll begin to realize that you can make a difference. We do make a difference. So here's the affirmations. Close the eyes. 
Breathe and listen and repeat. I reach out to the world with my heart. I reach out to the world with my heart. I reach out to the world with my words. I reach out to the world with my words. I promise the world my love. I promise the world my love. I am love's presence. I am love's presence. Breathe it in. And so I know and accept for each of us as we stand in our joy, as we stand in our love, as we center down, that we simply open up to the natural flow of God's love, the natural flow of the universe. There is perfect wholeness right here. There is perfect presence and peace and joy and creati creativity right here. And each of us access those dimensions with ease and grace. We simply let everything that is standing in the way of us experiencing our true and higher nature to simply dissolve. All discontent, all worry, all fear, we simply let those be. And we elevate our minds and we elevate our hearts and we embrace joy. We say, bring it on. And we step in to our deep and abiding joy and peace acceptance, allowing, and appreciation. And we know and accept together that we are the way that humanity remembers and embraces joy and love and freedom. So I speak a blessing on all beings, those that are on lockdown in their homes, those that are struggling with, with this coronavirus and any illness, those that are unable to experience the full dimension of their spiritual essence due to their fear. And I speak a blessing on all people that are serving for the greater good, that are doing grocery runs for their neighbors that can't get out, that are supporting those that have health issues, that are compromised, that are supporting their families and their communities through emotional disturbances and times of fear. I speak a blessing on all those that are gathering today in their hearts and in their homes to celebrate this one life, this one incredible universal power for good, call it God. And I know that as we simply surrender into God's love, that we let it be, that we come home, that we truly center in to the peace that passes all understanding. And we are the way that God serves humanity through our hands, through our hearts, through our words. For this I am so blessed, we are so blessed. It is so, and together we say, and so it is. Namaste, peace and blessings. If you need spiritual support, if you'd like someone to talk to, we have a team of practitioners. We have a team of ministers that are on call to support you. If you'd like to pray with someone, meditate with someone, we have individuals that remember the truth, know the truth, and will sit with you and hold you in that truth. So peace and blessings. Namaste. Ali B. Out. Bye-bye.